Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is the Tuck Mine, my name is Alas, and welcome back to another video. Today's video will be going over Borders, Ventilation Room, and Workshop. And the operators we're bringing today are Castle, Pulse, Jaeger, Kahid, and Smoke. The question for today is, who is your favorite attacker? My personal favorite attacker and the person that I main the most is Nomad. Nomad is great for solo queuing, along she's great for playing in ranked overall. She can watch the flanks of multiple teammates of your own and set up just overall jam points and choke points for the t uh, for the defenders to deal with. And without further ado, let's go and jump right in today's video. All right, now that we got the reinforcements out of the way, let's go and do castle. All the three castles barricades will be used up in armory lockers. This is going to be a very vital hold. Also going to be placing this bulletproof cam outside of this room. Into a hallway. We're going to pop open this hatch. I'm going to rotate right here. This will watch default spot on window along the doorway. And if you really want to, you can hold a nice line of sight. Pop on this portion. Trying to make it look clean as possible. Um, of course, you won't be running double shotgun on uh, a castle. You'll be running a ZMP. But you can sit right here and you can get a much more cleaner line of sight. You can only get much more of a, of a bigger line of sight. Uh, anybody picking this window. Of course, the only problem with this window is that you usually see feet. This fixes that, and you can see, of course, their whole body. You can even see their head when they're pushing off this window, trying to take a peek. Castle's going to be holding down uh, the site with Pulse. Pulse will be giving callouts as to where uh, where enemies are coming from, of course. Hatch will be used as his drop-down rotate. Rotate will go in the default spot right here. I want to try and make it as close to the wall as possible. As you can see, I'm not going to make more rotates. <laughs> Anyways, uh, of course, you don't want to open this whole wall. Uh, just a little sliver of it, so that way anybody can just flow through the sites easily. And of course, the last route to be making is bathroom. And smoke will be playing here. Ten seconds left. So we're actually going to be talking a little bit more of the reinforcements because I did not say shit about the reinforcements. Uh, I was playing castle. I'm going to be reinforcing this little corner here along with this whole this whole wall along with this last one. We will be getting this hatch right above right here. This one will all be reinforced. And the last four reinforcements will be used in armory site. And the last two walls of course you saw me reinforce playing as castle. Uh, this is the hatch yeah, where it's exactly. at. For those that don't know. Five seconds. Now we got reinforcements out the way. How we have the site set up, we're gonna prep this window. Again, we're gonna make the same holes as Castle did. Of 
That's a bit better to hold that line of sight. Um, so when Castle pulls tag team up here, Castle's gonna be one pretty much peeking all this stuff, uh, getting kills, while Pulse is gonna just have his scanner out. He's constantly checking him, he's pushing uh, up on the balcony. Anybody pushing me in lobby, this area's in the lobby over here. If anybody is playing outside on the far right side, which is why you prep the window because you can actually do a good run out. Prep this window real quick first. Or just pop it open, so the way. But of course, you can be sitting right here. Um, maybe just one operator. He just got over here, so there's no claymore yet. And be like, yo, Castle is somewhere right here. He's sitting in his drone. He's running out. Just hop out. Get that kill. Immediately run back inside. Because, uh, of course, you want to save. Uh, the downside about that is this will be castled off. And if anybody's placing, pushing this 90 or already trying to take control of the top portion of the site, it's going to be very challenging for Castle to re to enter back into his uh, area. So probably right after that, I would have Pulse immediately start scanning this area, checking checking the proof cam I, that Castle placed down to make sure everything's good to go for him to actually re-enter the site and place down his barricade once more. Um, you can actually, there's another line of sight right here. This can watch rotate, let's rotate on ping, and of course this is the main doorway. So in case maybe they never attack the top floor, but they gain control of the bottom floor somehow, you can still see the main doorway when they push in. And of course, if they're trying to peek the rotate. And obviously you have this hatch, and for those that don't know, you can sit up here on top of these server racks right here, and you can see anybody pushing from main, rotate, and anybody swinging out on you from the other side of uh, workshop. And that's pulse. First stadius will be placed down on the rotate right behind this little shelf right here. Our second one is going to be right behind, actually not right here. Ten seconds remaining. It's kind of like a double ADS to protect smoke on both of the sides. Five seconds. Either from the workshop doorway or from the bathroom doorway. You must protect your bombs from being defused by op four. Along with some barber right here. As for where Jaeger's gonna be playing, he's gonna be doing a split roll. For the first minute or so of the round, he's gonna be roaming, uh, mainly in offices, since we're gonna have have ah, since we're gonna have uh, Pulse and Castle up here. I I have not been able to fucking talk literally at all. So those are holding down, and their main job, of course, holding down B ventilation. Um, like what it, once more, Jaeger's gonna be running around in office and security for the first minute, maybe 90 seconds of the round. So there's only two defenders gonna be on site, such as Kahid and Smoke. It'll be best to come over and help them out when either they need it, or there's a heavy push coming on one of those two sites that's not focusing too much on Pulse or uh, Castle. So very simple. Uh, he doesn't stick to a certain place like what I just mentioned. He can just either anchor down if, uh, into workshop if he wants to. Or he can sit here in customs and you can catch people off guard. A good little peek you guys can do. That is very interesting how that popped up. If you guys really want to, you can do a little peek like this. And anybody on that main entry doorway, of course, you can get very cheeky shots from this uh, punch hole right here. Eye out for op four, attempting to defuse your Kai's job is very simple. All he needs to do is throw a claw in this corner. And this prevents anybody from Teller's window having a line of sight. Of course, any hard rate you like, up on or ace, opening this wall and having a line of sight into workshop or even just having easy access into the site itself. His second and last claw, of course, going over the hatch. For the same reason, you want to deny an easy area for attackers to drop down and have easy access into the site. Like what I was saying, he's not going to be watching B as much as that'll, that's what's Castle and Pulse's job. He's going to be watching possibly his main doorway, anybody pushing from Customs. Open area. Again, once more Customs. Uh, anywhere in this area, he's going to be just flowing around the site. He doesn't have a specific assigned point. Of course, you want to sit in an area that does not expose yourself as much. 
probably behind the server rack right here. You still have a nice little peak right here. And you still have this area of doorway. And if you need to, you can push in this side right here. And use your C4 to kill anybody pushing from the main doorway. Or pushing this window and pulls or castle fucked up. Alright, we got the main man, we've got your favorite criminal, war criminal, smoke. <laughs> Alright, gonna open the bathroom. Of course, this will all be reinforced. ADS are here. So, once again, we're not gonna be placing our shield right here. Obvious reasons, big no no. Wanna make it last as long as possible. Let me place you on rotate. Five left. So this gives you the ability to. On bombs. We gotta open this up a little bit more. There we go. Alright, so this gives you flow rim, of course, transitioning the shield, whether you want to stand up or crouch or whatnot. Um, so you have this giant shelf with our bookshelf, we're going to call this right here, protecting from the doorway. And of course you have the shield protecting the doorway of bathroom. So you can play this site pretty comfortably, pretty, pretty easily. Uh, it is sometimes co common, at least in the higher ranks, for people trying to make a bathroom push. Um, sometimes you'll have Kahit or Bennett doing this whole wall. Nobody really watch Hatch, which is why I have a claw on Hatch to protect that for that very reason. Um, because if they're protecting this wall, usually they neglect the hatch and it's very very easy to open that up and clear all this stuff. Anyways, focusing back on smoke, um, I have a shield right here. Anybody pushing from here, of course, this is within a 6 to 8 meter range. Uh, like what I said, it is a one shot kill from that range. Same again, if there's heavy activity in this area and Kahid is calling you for help. And if you need to ignore or throw away bathroom, that's what you need to do. Again, this doorway is a 6, uh, six to 8 meter range, which is once more one shot kill. Use your smoke canisters, they last 10 seconds each. If you have a heavy push, you can throw them from here all the way into the doorway, into tellers. From here to the hallway. And if you really, really, really need to, you can probably shoot some shotgun holes. And you can deny the plant. All the way from bathroom. All right, well I gotta work on my throw. I don't usually uh, smoke snipe like that. <laughs> Let's go try this again. All right, well, same thing. You get the point though. You gotta aim pretty fucking far, pretty fucking high. Sadly, that does not reach. Um, of course you're going to be doing that, obviously you just get closer, it's not worth trying to snipe or throw or try to be cool in that way. Um, although you can pull that off your god. <laughs> uh, and that's pretty much, uh, that's pretty much all. Yeah, Alright, and that's going to be all for this video for Builder's Ventilation Room and Workshop. I hope everybody enjoyed that video, of course, and if you did, please like, comment, subscribe. I enjoy the interaction with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's uh, question of the day. Um, please share this with your friends if they don't know the setup or if they're new to the game or if they're coming back to the game. Um, just please share my content. It, it helps me grow. It helps me put on more content. Um, I'm almost at 500 subs. I think I'm like 460 right now. I'd really appreciate the support. Um, I, I, I really, really do. I know I say it a lot. It's because I genuinely mean it. Um, I love my followers. I love uh, the people that support me. And of course, I support them in return uh, regardless. Uh, again, if you guys want to go down in the description or in the comments below, I'm going to put my Instagram. You guys can interact with me and build my story for when the next map you guys want to vote for. Or possibly just another video idea that you guys want me to make and do. Um, in fact, that's why I made the Jaeger and how to play Jaeger in 2021 uh, video. And without wasting more time and without you know extending this already long outro, uh, you guys have a good day and take care. <laughs>